Well, hello everybody. I hope everybody is in a creative mood and you're ready to work on our sensory spider sculpture. So sensory spider sculpture. Well, I do have my spider back here, but you'll see the spider back here is, it's not a sculpture really, it's flat, right? She's flat against the wall. And when something is flat against the wall, it's two dimensional. So 2D is two dimensional means flat. So she is flat on the wall. And we're gonna make something that's three dimensional. So it's not gonna be flat, it's going to be a round. Something you can look at from all sides and kind of go, wow. So to start our sensory spider project, um, I thought we could talk a little bit about spiders first and see how much we all know about spiders. I think spiders are pretty cool. They are not insects. They might live next door to insects, but they are not insects. They are arachnids. And also in the arachnid family, you're gonna find scorpions. So spiders are, are like cousins to scorpions. Isn't that wild? And um, arachnids or spiders in the arachnid family, they actually eat insects. Insects fly around, right? They fly around and they get stuck on this web. See how I have an insect right here? And the web is a little bit sticky. It's kind of like, it's almost like tape, but not quite tape. And so the insect flies around and it gets stuck on the web because it's a little bit sticky on their feet and it can't get off. So it's kind of trapped. And then the spider that makes that silky webby stuff, they wrap them up like this and they sort of, they keep them on their web for when they feel hungry and usually they just drink um, they actually drink the insects blood they usually don't eat the whole insect so um, that's how it works so we're going to make our spider how many um legs do spiders have any eight. ideas eight yes they have eight legs Kind of like an octopus, but a different creature. So they have eight legs. Insects have three parts. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. But spiders, it's kind of like two of those parts are squished together. So they have two main parts. And um, so we're gonna work on that now. Sound good? All right. We're gonna start with a piece of newspaper. Now, when we look at a piece of newspaper, it's two dimensional, right? It's flat. I put this on a table, it's flat. So we're gonna take that and crunch it up. A ball, okay? Doesn't have to be a scrunched up tight ball. It can be, and you don't need to use your muscles. I know you're all strong. You want to keep it kind of puffy because if you squish it really tight, then um, your spider's going to be really tiny. And that's okay. It's just different. So um, you have your newspaper or other kind of paper ball. Now I'm going to hold it together with an elastic, okay? Because it's just easier for me. So I'm gonna put that elastic around the ball so it doesn't come undone. Because if I don't do that, watch, whoops! <laughs> it went flying. See how it starts coming undone? It just starts coming unraveled. So I'm gonna scrunch that up again and fold it with that elastic, okay? Easy peasy. Then I'm gonna take another piece but this time it's a little bit smaller. So if you're using magazine, just use a little bit of a smaller piece and that's gonna be your spider's head. And we're gonna scrunch it up. 
okay? So now you have two balls. One's big, one's a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna put them together and tape them up, okay? Because we don't want that to move. And then I go around, kind of like they're wearing a necklace. I think lots of tape is a really good idea. So right now, that's the beginning of my spider. I know it doesn't really look like a spider just yet, but it's coming. So now we're going to cover it up. There are lots of ways you can do that. You could do paper mache, um, or you could paint it, I guess. Um, we're going to do paper mache, but a little bit different because a lot of times with paper mache, we dip into paste and then we smooth it on. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time. We're going to use tissue paper is really great to work with because not only am I covering up all this newspaper and tape, but I'm adding color at the same time. So instead of having to paint this later, I've already got the color on there. Now, you don't have to use black. I do have black tissue paper. Maybe you have red tissue paper, or maybe you have tissue paper that has stripes or dots or anything. You can use any kind, really. Um, I also have green tissue paper. You could make a green spider. Just use your imagination, right? So what we're going to do with that tissue paper, I'm just gonna put this down, is we're gonna take it, and you find with tissue paper, it rips really easily if I go one way, okay? If I try and rip, if I turn the paper like this, and I try and rip this way, <laughs> it's very difficult. So you have to kind of give it a little pull to see which way your paper wants to rip. And just turn it around and rip that way. Okay? You rip kind of with the grain of the paper. And you want your strips pretty big. You don't want to make teeny tiny little strips like this because that's going to take you a really long time to cover your spider. Okay? So you're going to rip a few pieces and these are very long to work with. So I'm going to actually make them a little shorter. So I ripped them in half. Okay? And I have some here. I have some that are kind of small and I have some slightly bigger. All right. Now, how is this going to stay on my spider? If I say a magic word, do you think it's gonna stick? Abracadabra. Nope. Glue. We're gonna use some glue, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. I have some Plain old white glue. I know this looks like milk, but it's glue. So a little bit of glue. I'm gonna pour it in this container, just like this. You don't need very much, okay? And then I have a little bit of water. So I'm gonna pour that water in because I don't want my glue to be too thick. And I have a nice big brush. I'm gonna stir it around. So it's just glue and water. A little bit watery, that's okay. Now, I'm gonna take my spider and I'm dipping my brush in the glue. So I'm gonna dip it in and wipe it off. So there's lots of glue on my brush, but it's not dripping all over the place, okay? So I give it a good wipe and I'm going to paint some glue onto my spider, just like this. Not everywhere, because it's gonna get really soggy, just a little bit at a time, okay? Then I'm gonna take a piece of my tissue paper and 
I'm gonna wrap it around. So wrap it around, touching the glue, and pat it down. Now, see how that's kind of fly away? It's not gonna stick. So I need some more glue. So you're gonna paint a little more glue. You can even paint right on top of that paper. So I've started wrapping it around just like that. So you're gonna keep doing that. You're gonna keep looking for newspaper and tape that you can cover up. So you have to be a bit of a detective. And it takes a little bit of time, but it's, it goes pretty quickly because your spider is not too big. And it's a good idea to paint some glue on top so it really wants to stick. And try, try with your paintbrush not to be super rough with it, because if you're rough and you mush your brush around, you're gonna make holes. Because as the paper gets wet, it's, it gets kind of delicate. So we wanna be a little bit gentle with it um, as we're working. Okay, so we're gonna keep working away here. How are you doing? Oh, that's looking good. Great job, love it. So let's see, oh, I'm almost covered here. This not, that went pretty quick. Okay, now, so I'm keep turning it around. Remember, it's three-dimensional, right? So, uh, we want to keep looking all around. It's not flat like a piece of paper. All right, I'm almost there. Great work, everybody. All right, it's kind of like wrapping a scarf around somebody's head in the winter time, but thankfully we're lucky it's now it's spring. That's when you start seeing more things like spiders because they like that warmer weather. They're not so keen on that cold weather. Now they get some food because there's more insects flying around too. All right, I'm done covering my spider's body. So I'm just gonna paint a little glue on top to make sure this all sticks nicely. And I'm gonna set it down on another piece of newspaper so it can dry, okay? So I'm just gonna set it down and we're just gonna let that dry. It's not gonna take too, too long, but we're gonna keep uh, moving along so that you can see what's going to come next. Now. I also did one ahead of time. I made one that was green, just for fun. So now I actually, I have one that's drying that's black and one that is green. So if I look at this spider right now, this one's dry, kind of hard too, it gets hard. Um, do you see any eyes on this spider? I don't see any eyes. Do you see any legs? No, I don't see any legs. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks like a mango or something, but it's a spider. So we need to, we're gonna add some stuff to this to make it look more like a spider in a minute. Before we do that, let's think about where the spider can live. Now, this will give you a hint where your spider needs to live. Does your spider like to rest in um, on a chair? No. Does your spider rest on a couch? Probably not. Uh, so we're gonna make a web, okay? Now you could make a web using string. That would be really cool. But we're gonna make our web a little bit different and we're gonna use some, I have some scrap cardboard here. It's just a box. It's like a box lid. You might have, I also have like a cereal box here. So you can just use any old piece of cardboard 
Um, or if you have paper, paper is totally fine too. Now, right now, this doesn't look much like a web. Um, so we're gonna change that. I'm gonna take um, some pastels. I have some oil pastels here. And I know this sounds funny, but we're gonna first add some color to the cardboard, okay? We're gonna be doing something called scraffito. You know what scraffito means? It's a really cool word, scraffito. It means scratched away. So we're gonna scratch away something so we can see what's underneath, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do with our, our cardboard is we're gonna take some pastels and some color on this cardboard any way you like just putting some color on I'm thinking about a big round shape okay. and get I like lots of different colors I kind of thinking about a rainbow a little bit Maybe we'll make a big circle so we can see where we're coloring. What do you think? Is this starting to look like a web? A little bit, a tiny bit. All right. Okay, I have colored the whole circle. I'm just gonna rinse my brush that I had in the glue, because it's very gluey. And, hang on, give it a squeeze so we get the water out of it. And on my plate here, I have some black paint. Now you could use black acrylic paint, you could use tempera paint, um, whichever one you happen to have at home. I have acrylic paint, so this is what I'm doing. Okay, ready? Watch this. So I'm putting some black paint on my brush. And now I'm going to paint on top of this. So I'm coloring, I'm covering all the color. Can everybody see? And you want to put enough paint um, so you don't see any of the color shining through. And once you've colored the whole thing, you're going to keep it wet. And then you can take, I have, um, like a stir stick. You can take a popsicle stick or a stir stick, or you can even take um, the back of a paintbrush works really well also, just the hard part. And you're gonna scratch in to the paint. Check it out. So I'm scratching, I'm making like a colorful swirl. So that's the beginning of my web. And then I'm gonna take my scratchy tool and draw some lines through it. Is that starting to look like a web? Check it out. If you try and scratch something that's dry, it's not going to work, okay? It's dry, the paint doesn't want it. Now, you could use that same uh, technique with the Scraffito. You could draw a little bug on that web for fun so that that spider has a little snack, right? But I think it might be more fun to use our cardboard and, and make a little snack for our spider. So I'm just gonna put my web down so it'll dry. It's not gonna take very long. If you use acrylic paint, 
it dries very quickly. Uh, um, other kinds of paint also dry pretty quickly because we didn't make it very thick, right? So uh, I have some extra um, cardboard. I have a tissue box here. And I'm, I just drew a little insect. So I drew a small insect for my spider and I'm gonna color it before I cut it out because um, that will make it a lot easier for me. And so you can put as much color on there as you like, okay? Give our, our spider a little snap. And then you can cut that out nice and easy. You could color the other side too, but I kind of like that pattern from the cardboard. It already has color, so it looks pretty cool. All right, and then once you've got it cut out, your spider has a snack. Now I'm gonna give the wings a little bend because uh, we want it to look like it kind of flew on there, right? And you can just glue that wherever you want on that web. You're gonna end up cutting this web out once it's dry, okay? So we have our bug, so we have a little lunch or a little snack for that spider. And um, we have our web. Now we need to add some legs and some eyes to our spider. So you could, um, for the legs, I really like using pipe cleaners because they bend. And we all know that spiders' legs do not, they don't stick straight out like this. Ooh, they're not like broomsticks. Um, they bend, right? So when they land on something, their, their legs have a joint and they bend. So we're gonna use a pipe cleaner that we cut in half. So your pipe cleaners are usually about uh, 12 inches or about that long. And I've cut it in half, so now I have two of them. And it's pretty hard to stick a pipe cleaner onto um, this and have it stay. So what we're gonna do is poke a hole. And I have this shish kebab skewer, or you could use something else. You can even poke a hole with a pencil. And we're gonna try it with our green spider here. It easily pokes a hole in there. And then I can stick that leg in. Okay, let's try another one. So we need eight, right? We're gonna do four on one side. So we've got one, two, three, four holes, four pipe cleaners. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now they're sticking straight out like broom handles and we wanna give them a little shape. So I'm gonna bend and then give them a little foot. So I bent it like that. So we bend and bend. Two little, two little shapes so that it looks like they have feet. Okay, so we have four on one side. Let's get four on the other. One, two, three, four. Now, in order for these to stay for a long time, you're gonna wanna add a little glue. So you can, you could even just take your little pipe cleaner and dip it in the glue, pretty easy. And then pop it in that hole, okay? So we dip, I've got a little glue on there, and pop it in. I like using the colorful pipe cleaners, I think it's fun. 
it and poke. And one more dip and poke. All right, and we're going to give these some shape because they look a little stiff. Okay, so give it a little bend. And if it doesn't look just like mine, that's okay. We're all different, right? I think it's a good thing when everybody has their own way of making things. So there's my spider with eight legs. Now, I don't see a face on this spider. So you could do, um, you could paint eyes and a mouth. Of course, they need their mouth so they can eat. So you could paint those things on or you could use something else. Maybe you want to use um, some googly eyes. I bought these the other day. I went to the dollar store and some of them are really big. These are humongous and some are a little bit smaller. Um, and these, I would uh, suggest you use glue so that they stick on. How many eyes does a spider have? What do you think? Does a spider have two eyes? Sometimes, not too often. Most spiders have eight. Eight legs, eight eyes. I know, that's a lot of eyes. So they have four pairs of eyes. Some spiders have six eyes and some actually have no eyes. Um, there are so many kinds of spiders. Some spiders live in the water. Some live in the desert. Uh, so they're all different and their faces and their bodies can look a little different too. So here is a spider. Um, Actually, I, I printed this off to share with you. Check this out. These are the spider's eyes. Isn't that amazing? That's a close-up picture of a spider's face. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. That's very close. The spider is not that big, for sure. So uh, I've glued some eyes on this one. Here's a black one I made earlier. And I glued on some googly eyes, so you can see there. And I actually glued on a little mouth too. I had some um, kind of fun stuff to decorate with. I have some pom-poms, so you could even add stuff like that. Let's add some pom-poms for fun. So. You're going to need some of that glue and maybe we'll put some pom-poms on the back of this spider. Why not? And it adds some a cool texture. Texture is how something feels. So I put lots of glue up there on the back and now I can take some of these fun pom-poms and stick them on. Why not? Add some fun color, make it your own, and uh, just have some fun. <laughs> There's my spider, and let's see. I have uh, I have a web already dry, so here's a web I did before, and I cut it out. And now my spider has somewhere to be. And there it is. Here's my spider on the web. And there's a bug. I glued that bug on. You could glue this on too. Uh, if you want to glue your spider onto the web, you could do that. Um, this one I didn't glue down, so they are separate. And there they are. They're the two friends. They're having lunch. We got a nice insect lunch being served up at the, uh, the spider cafe. If your hands are sticky, by the way, rub them together and the glue will dry very quickly and stop being sticky. Um, it really helps. So uh, it would be great 
If you could take a picture of your spider and share it with us, I would love, love to see what everyone makes today. So uh, thanks again for joining us and uh, have a great day.